everybody and welcome back to my neglected YouTube channel. Um, now that I'm having a little bit more time, now that work is winding down for the year, I'm hoping to be able to put a little bit more into videos and blog posts and all that stuff that I love to do. So to jump right in, I am going to show you guys how I do my concealing of the under eye area routine. This um, this involves concealing puffiness and dark circles. I have a problem with both of those, as many of us do. Some people are blessed with having perfect under eye skin. I am not, so I'm gonna show you how I try my hardest to look bright and awake and fresh looking, even when I'm exhausted and not looking awake at all. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is wash my face. I usually use St. Ives Blemish and Blackhead Control Scrub and then I moisturize my face uh, using a face cream. And then I jump right into the eye routine. So I start off with one of two depuffing formulas. One is by Embryolisse um, and it's sort of like a cream type formula that just kind of rubs under there. And the other one is by Simple Cosmetics. You can get this at the drugstore. And it's more of a, a rolling ball. And this provides a nice, cool sensation underneath the eyes. So both of these do a really nice job um, depuffing the eye area. They're not miracle workers, unfortunately, but they do help in reducing the extreme puffiness. So I use one of these. It just depends on how I feel. This one is really nice and refreshing in the morning. Um, so I do like using this on the hotter mornings, but they both are excellent. This one is much, much cheaper. Um, so to start off with for this, I'm going to use the simple revitalizing eye roll-on. So I usually just do one or two passes along there. And it's just a nice cooling sensation. So that dries and I go about my morning routine while that sinks in. So that sinks in fairly quickly and then you're ready for the next step which is eye cream. And this is my absolute favorite eye cream for brightening and moisturizing of the under eye area. I've tried several under eye creams for daytime use and I keep on coming back to this one. This is a repurchase of mine. It's called the Carez Wild Rose Instant Brightening Eye Treatment. And it's very light but it definitely helps reflect the light underneath the eyes while moisturizing. I was able to use this all winter long without an issue of getting too dry underneath the eyes. So I just take a little teeny tiny amount of this and just dot it carefully under the eye area. I'm actually just going to do one half of my face at a time so you can see the difference. Okay, so once that is all blended in, you can move right on to your concealing. And I, there are a lot of different combinations of products I really enjoy in terms of concealing underneath my eyes and I tend to find combinations that work really, really well and I stick to them for a while and then I switch it up. So right now, I'm absolutely loving the Marc Jacobs Eye Brightening Pen along with Benefits Erase Paste. So these two are a magical combination for me right now. So the first thing I do is start out with the highlighting pen and you just press the bottom get a couple clicks up there and then you can apply underneath your eye. The tip of this is like a really nice cool metal so every time you put it on it feels like a spa underneath your eyes. It just feels amazing. So I'm gonna put this in a triangular fashion all the way underneath my eyes. So I have put this all the way underneath and up to my hairline 
And what this helps to do is even out the plane of underneath the eye so you don't have your bags jumping out at you and the more sunken in parts sinking back. You're kind of evening out the whole plane, bringing it down onto your cheeks so that everything looks nice and even and not puffy. So I then just go ahead and blend that in. And to blend it, I just use my uh, ring finger here and a really gentle tapping motion. So you're starting to be able to see the difference between the two sides of my face. This one you can really still see the darkness in bags, and this one you're starting to see a nice evened out plane where you're not seeing the bag quite as much. So the next step in this routine is going to be with my erase paste, and I'm in the color Fair. This color matches my skin so perfectly, I almost don't even need to blend it in because it's such a good match. Um, the reason I love this is because it not only conceals, but it brightens as well. So it's fantastic for underneath the eyes. It's also very moisturizing, so you're not going to get those crackly, fine line crevices under there that you get with a really drying concealer that maybe you would use for like a blemish or something like that. This is really, really perfect for underneath the eyes. I can't say enough good things about it. So I take it. It's a little pot like this. I love using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush with this. I just, the combination is fantastic. So I just take a little bit of this, I literally touch it to the top. A little bit goes a very long way. And I am going to place this in a teeny triangle right over my bag, essentially. So, I just put a teeny tiny triangle right where my most baggiest part is under my eye. And what that does, I'm going to use a tiny bit more, just, again, a little triangle right there. And what I find that that does is it brings the, the deep part of the bag forward, it brightens that part up so that it makes the bag look like it doesn't exist. It just, again, kind of evens out the entire plane of your eye. Once that's done, I just take my ring finger again and blend it in by sort of just pushing it into the skin. I don't like swiping because then I feel like it takes away some of the product. So as much as I can just push product in, I do. Okay, so I can see now looking in the review thingy that um, there's quite a difference between the eye that's been concealed and the eye that hasn't. This eye is still dark and puffy and this one is looking nice and bright and awake. So the final step in my routine is a setting powder and I always 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 set my under eye concealer with some sort of powder and the powder varies. I try and stay away from really drying or mattifying powders because that will really emphasize those fine lines under your eyes. So what I love to use is brightening powders or mo or powders that actually have moisturizing properties. What I'm loving right now is the Guerlain um, Meteorites, and I, this is a little sample, but it's working great for me. And it has all these different little, it's gonna be really hard to, yeah. all these different little beads of different colors, and all the beads have different uses. So there's a green bead, bean, a green bead for anti-redness, there's a um, pink bead for glow, there's a white bead for illuminating, so um, all these little beads are absolutely perfect for highlighting that under eye area as well as setting your concealer. So I take my beads and my Real Techniques setting brush and I just swipe it around in those beads like so. 
and I just gently tap it right underneath the eye area over the concealer. Just like that. And I've made the mistake of using too much powder before and then midway through the day I look in the mirror and I look like an 85 year old woman because the powder has emphasized every single wrinkle I have. So don't make the same mistake I did. Go very light and easy on the powder, just enough to set that concealer and you're good to go. All right, so this is the before and this is the after. I can see a difference. I hope you guys can see a difference. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for you. What I'll do now is I'll go through and conceal the other side so that you can see the way it looks all together. Okay, so just give me one second. Okay, so both eyes are now concealed. It's looking nice and bright under there and I'm not looking quite so much like a zombie. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys and thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned.